we know that all mammals have an internal central circadian clock that regulates all levels of activities. But like one fundamental property of the mammalian circadian clock is that the clock is able to adapt to changes in environment, but it's a slow clock, it's slow to change. <clears throat> and consider the example of jet lag. It's usually just take us days to weeks to overcome the jet lag. And it is a manifestation of our brain is trying to resynchronize its circadian system with the external environment. And this process is accompanied by the external stimuli, such as the light, and it's one of the most important ones. The previous studies have already successfully made the clock more flexible with a simple light manipulation called the bifurcation. And first, a flexible clock means a fast adaptation to environmental changes. And the bi bifurcation is a light manipulation that split 24-hour day into two light-dark, light-dark cycles instead of one. So my current study asked the question, if we can make the clock more flexible, how long can this gained flexibility from bifurcation last? It might last for weeks or it might just disappear immediately after bifurcation ends. So to assess the clock flexibility or how fast the mice can adapt to environmental changes, we constantly challenge the mice clock by continuously giving them six hour advances in lightning schedules. One of the behavioral outcomes we measured is the amount of activity during the first four hours after the lights off. And the activity is recorded as the, wheel run, the mice will running revolutions with a, a sensor attached to the cage. And because of the mice is a nocturnal animal, and so they are expected to be active during the night. Therefore, a faster adaptation or a, a better in trainer means higher for the first four hour activity concentrations after the onset of darkness. We manipulate two independent variables in our study. First is whether they have bifurcated history on, or not. And the second is the frequency of how often they received the six hour advances in schedules. A total of four shifts was given to slow shifting groups. Um, the frequency is divide, divided into two separate groups, either fast shifting or slow shifting. Slow shifting means um, each six hour advance in lightning schedule per two days. And the slow shifting group means six, each six hour advance per six days. So two versus six days. And we have two major findings. First is just replicate the previous finding that, that demonstrate bifurcated history helps the mice resynchronization with the environment immediately after the, they came from the bifurcation. But like a more, exciting, more exciting finding is that compare the first shift to the last shift. So we give them a several one compare the first one to the last one, the bifurcated slow group, so the one with bifurcated history, but receive face advance every six days on a slow basis. They were initially adapting faster and they would perform really well, but advantages gradually diminished, which is manifested by a closer gap between the two groups between the bifurcated slow group and the control groups. They used to be, the, the bifurcated group used to be very good at, at the read adaptation, but such advantages disappeared at the end of study. So the result basically suggests that by continually challenging the circadian system on a two-day basis, so the bifurcated fast group mice, they seem to be able to retain the flexibility gained from the bifurcation even after four weeks. And the advantages disappears with staying longer in the same given light-dark cycle. 